Since recovering from COVID-19 last year, Sonia Mali still suffers crushing fatigue and says her mind is trapped in a fog. I'm a fraction of the person I was before. Mally can't focus, struggles to remember, and has lost the creativity that inspired her art. It's sort of like trying to trudge through neck deep sludge, except mentally. Um, just it, you're tired, you're confused. In New York, researchers studied a diverse group of recovered COVID patients with in-person cognitive tests, usually reserved for those who've had a stroke or concussion. We did see cognitive impairment, which was in excess of what we would expect for this population, specifically, you know, this fairly young cohort. Almost eight months after being treated for COVID, 23% still had problems with memory recall, 24% struggled with forming new memories, and 18% had impaired mental processing speed. Hospitalized patients were most likely to be affected. The results are similar to the experiences of patients who've spent a lot of time in intensive care before the pandemic. Some studies have identified a subset that still has cognitive impairment over, over five years post illness, but we, we just don't know that with COVID right now. Scientists still can't identify the cause of brain fog, but autopsies reveal evidence of particles of the coronavirus, as well as damage similar to what's seen in strokes. I think we're, we're starting to get a sense of what the risks of each of those are and how much each are contributing, but I don't think it's gonna be any one thing only. No clear answer means no clear treatment. Nobody knows what's gonna to happen to any of us. Um, it's just kind of everyone's hanging on hope at this point. And a life sidelined. Vicadopia, CBC News, Toronto.